this is our new mailbox stand. And I've seen a lot of videos on how to do mailbox stands before I, my neighbor and I worked on this one. And upon a lot of thought, we decided to do things slightly different than the other stands we saw. So, thought I would share that, because I really like our idea. So we've got the two uprights, because obviously this is a multi-family uh, post. Um, we actually have many other neighbors who don't have their mailboxes on one right now. They have P.O. boxes. But we wanted to allow room for other people to come on if they wish. So what we did, we got the uprights. We put them together with two one by or two by sixes, all pressure treated. And we just nailed one on either side of the of the upright, as you can see. We put on all the mailboxes in a different fashion. Normally, they wanted you to put in a piece of wood, as you see, and they want you to nail it or screw it along all the holes on the side of the mailbox. Well, I found when I had a multi-mailbox situation and mine rusted out, I couldn't get my mailbox off because I had another mailbox so close I couldn't get a nail, a hammer or a screwdriver in there to get the, it happened to have nails in it, couldn't get anything to get the nails out because I didn't have enough room between them. So I told my neighbor, I said, I don't want that. I don't want to have the mailboxes trapped if things should start rotting away because we live on the coast and things do rust. So what we devised is a system of attaching it inside. We drilled a hole in the mailbox. This I cinched down a little tight my mailbox um, and we put a long bolt through. We put a washer and then a bigger washer just to give it lots of grab room. And underneath as you see, we did do the wood underneath. We did not attach it with any nails or screws. All I did is drill the hole through the same place you would have the hole in the middle. The bolt went through that, as you can see, and it comes down to another piece of wood, which is like a piece of a two by four, I think. We drilled a hole through that, and we put another washer, a lock um, washer, and then a, um, a nut on the end of that. Now the beauty of all of this is that all of these mailboxes, you can un you just can loosen up one bolt, one nut, and everything can slide one way or the other along this thing. It all just moves from just doing one, one nut. All you have to do is untighten one nut. The whole thing can come up, straight up. You don't have to worry about neighbors. You can cinch it back down wherever you want. If we have more neighbors or I get a bigger box and you need to move things, it's so easy. You just move it, un undo it, loosen it, slide it one way or the other, tighten it down again. There's room for everybody. So I haven't seen anybody doing this. But uh, my neighbor came up with that idea because I was concerned about having all the things trapped in the, in the neighbor's situation. So now nothing is trapped. It's all loose and free-flowing, except for, of course, very sturdy. Nothing moves because this holds it down secure, hitting both of these boards and one good solid board here, all pressure treated. Of course, we cemented it into the ground and everything. And this, in my opinion, is by far the best way to do mailboxes that I have ever seen. Well, I've never seen it. <laughs> we did it. <laughs> so thanks to my neighbor, and me, we, we got this stuff done for all of our other neighbors and we're really happy with the outcome. So I thought I would share that because I thought it was an awesome idea and excellent for people who have to maybe remove mailboxes. You can take your mailbox and go when you move, not a problem. Okay, thought I would share it and uh, happy building.